When you think of global warming, you probably picture cars, coal, but cows? Well, it turns out cows are prolific producers of the potent greenhouse gas methane, says University of California Davis animal scientist Frank Mitloner. Methane from animal agriculture is the number one greenhouse gas. That makes up the vast majority of uh, warming contributions from livestock. 36% of all methane in the U.S. comes from cattle, more than even from the oil and gas industry. There's some complex chemistry going on here. Cows have four stomachs. In one of them, microorganisms break down food into nutrients, producing methane as a waste product. Cows burp the fermented food back up and chew it some more. Each cow belch is a blast of methane into the atmosphere. I call methane the fast and furious. I call it fast and furious because it has a real punch to it. It's more heat trapping than, let's say, carbon dioxide, CO2. Uh, so it's more powerful. If you reduce methane, you reduce warming. Mitloner and scientists around the world are trying to do that by slightly changing what the animals eat. You just change the composition of microbes in the rumen. And this From doesn't those, harm the cows at all? No. From those microbes that produce methane to those microbes that don't. Here, graduate students are preparing feed for the university's herd of black Angus cows. Then they sprinkle a bit of red dust in each animal's trough before the heifers chow down. This is the pulverized bark of the cabracho tree, which grows in South America. And scientists working here have found that just a small amount added to cattle feed can reduce cows' methane emissions by 10%. Far from this feedlot, environmentalists are angry with the Biden administration for agreeing to legislation prohibiting federal agencies from measuring methane in agriculture, bowing to demands by the agribusiness lobby. This administration's abysmal approach to measuring and reducing emissions from methane in agriculture undermines their credibility in international climate forums. Meanwhile, back in California, the cows are munching away, seemingly happy and hopefully less gassy. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Davis, California.